welcome you guys. What is going on? Kim here. Welcome and thank you for coming back to this all new Sunday cooking video. I hope you all have had a fantastic week. It has been pretty gloomy here today guys and I'm still not a big fan of this cold. You would think that after living here for about 17 years that at some point I would have adjusted but I don't and I can't and I won't. It is too cold. It's too much going on out there. Oh yeah, it is super snowy and cold out. I am freezing. We had no snow yesterday morning. Look at this. Look at this. I'm freezing. I just want a warm dish. So today for you guys, I thought I would make an extremely, an extremely cheap, easy, and super delicious meal in the crock pot. It just seems like one of those days to me. I just feel like having a crock pot recipe. So I hope you guys are hungry. I hope you're ready. This dish is going to take about four and a half hours. I know, I'm sorry, but it's totally worth the wait. It's so delicious and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So without further ado, today we are making easy crock pot chicken and dumplings. Oh yes. And this is everything we will need for this recipe. Kosher salt, parsley flakes, pepper, minced garlic. Now we won't be eating these, obviously, but for flavoring, we are using bay leaves, and I have four twigs of oregano leaves. We have two cans of cream of chicken soup. I have two cans, but I'm only using about one and a half cans of chicken broth. I have buttermilk biscuits. Now we probably won't need three cans. I just really, really like these, so I bought them. I have heavy cream. I have a can, crisp and sweet corn, and sweet peas. And of course, I have <laughs> my boneless, skinless chicken breast. And this recipe will all be cooked in our slow cooker. All right, so without further ado, let's get to cooking. Crock pot chicken and dumplings. All right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our chicken breast. We're just gonna place it on the bottom of the crock pot. To the chicken, we are going to just sprinkle over one teaspoon of the parsley, one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. Next, we are adding two cups of chicken broth, your two cans of cream of chicken, and the second can. I'm going to add my pint of heavy cream, and just right on top of that, I'm going to set my four little leaves of oregano. Got the bay leaf here. I'm just gonna set that right on top. Now, I'm gonna set the lid on it. I'm gonna turn my cooker to high, and I'm gonna let that sit and cook for three hours. All right, I'm gonna show you guys for anybody who actually doesn't know, and don't laugh because some people really don't know how to drain your vegetables. This is the way I've always done it. I've taken my can opener, I've cut it. Now I'm just gonna take two fingers I'm going to push right in the middle and then just turn it upside down. Hard to do on camera. And I just push right in the middle. Don't push too hard. You don't want to cream your corn here. <laughs> but I push right in the middle so that I'm not getting my fingers on the edge. And that is how you drain vegetables from your can. So I know it's hard to see because we got a lot of condensation on the lid here but I'm trying to let you see. It's in there bubbling, the bay leaf, and the oregano leaves. They have simmered down, and it is smelling delicious. We're getting close to opening this up and getting rid of the bay leaves. We still have a lot to do, and that includes getting the biscuits ready. So, I have two of my cans of biscuits. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna open these, and we're gonna cut them up. Woo. Second package. Okay. 
I now have a lot of biscuits, but I want to turn them into more. So, however you feel comfortable doing this, stacking them, I'm always afraid I'm going to mush them into a biscuit sandwich. So, I do take my time and do this one at a time. But I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut my biscuit in half and then I'm going to cut it one more time. Sit that there. I'm going to take my biscuit pieces and I'm going to set them in a bowl. And I'm going to keep going. We are ready to remove the lid. We still have a ways to go, guys. <laughs> but we are ready to remove this lid <laughs> for now. Set it aside. I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to remove the bay leaf. I'm trying to keep that seasoning in there. And you're also now going to remove your oregano. There's one. Now if some leaves fell off. I don't care. <laughs> the next thing you want to do is you want to take two southern whisk and you're going to reach in, grab a hold of that chicken, try to shake off as much excess as you can. I really do not like losing any bit of flavor and put it on something and shred it. Once you're happy with how you've shredded it, add it back. So that is this step, is getting a hold of and shredding the chicken into pieces. Alrighty, our chicken has been shredded. I'm pretty happy. So just shred it to the consistency you want, thickness of your chicken. I don't really like them in big chunks. We are ready to add more ingredients. We are ready for this next part. We are going to add our corn, our drained corn, my peas. And I know this may seem like a lot, but trust me, <laughs> three teaspoons of minced garlic. Three. Now you're gonna give that a good mix. Once you have given that a really good combine there, it's time to start adding your biscuits. So I'm just going to sprinkle some around. And I'm gonna mix those in. And just keep going until you have added all of your biscuits. All right, and one more mix. All right, you want to make sure you're giving this a lot of TLC for a little while here. So what we're going to do is once I have given this a really, really good mix, make sure these biscuits are in here. I wanna make sure I'm gonna kind of push down a bit on these biscuits. I wanna make sure they're under. So I'm just gonna make sure all of my biscuits here have the sauce on it. All right, this is now ready for the lid. <laughs> we are gonna continue heating this on high for an hour and a half, but the thing is, we are gonna come and mix it every 30 minutes, okay? So, we're gonna start letting this cook. See you guys in a little while. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna take, it's been 30 minutes. Took the lid off. I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna gently give it a stir. I'm gonna give it a push. I'm gonna put the lid back on and we're gonna keep going. All right, we are back one more time. I'm gonna remove the lid. Take my spoon and I'm gonna give it a stir. Alright, one more time. I'm gonna give it a little push. I'm gonna put the lid back on. We're gonna let it sit 30 more minutes. It is about that. Ooh. Dang, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> it is about that time. I'm gonna take it off. And I think we are good to go. You wanna cook it until your biscuits are cooked through. So just give one of your little biscuits a try. If you're happy with it, obviously it's done. All right, guys, I am ready. I'm going to grab me a scoop. Look at that. Woo! That smells so good. What do you think? Smells good. You have no interest in this, do you? It smells good. God, you suck. <laughs> I am ready to try this. I'm going to wait a minute, though, because it is steaming. But look, it's not soggy what you think. Look. You see that? Look at the biscuit. It's not soggy. Look at Smells that. good. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let this cool a minute, and then I'm going to try it out. All right, guys, here we are. We are ready. Grand finale. It is still steaming. I should be giving this just a little bit longer to cool, but I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Here we go. Oh, it's so hot. Mm. It's really good. It's definitely worth the wait. Look at all this chicken in here, Kyle. Chicken. Mm, the biscuit is so good. I am super happy with my dinner tonight. I hope you guys will be too. Hope you guys make it. If you do, as always, let me know. That is going to do it for this video, guys. As always, I truly appreciate it. And I feel like I got food on my face. <laughs> If you enjoyed, like, subscribe. If you didn't, like, subscribe. Have a good night, guys.